Okay, calculus class, we're going to use the limit definition of a derivative to find the derivative for f of x is 4x squared plus 5x. So work the problem now, plus pause on, on your uh, YouTube video, work the problem now, and then come back and restart the video after you've worked it. Okay, so let's look through our solution. First thing we're going to do is write down the limit definition of a derivative. You're not going to really do any work at this juncture, just simply write down the, the definition. f prime is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. This is a slope. It's a slope between the point x and a point h further along on the x-axis. And obviously the difference between those two x values would be h. And we're going to let these points get closer and closer together so that it approaches the point of, of just the slope of just one point. All right, now our first step is we need to apply f of x plus h and f of x with the given function 4x squared plus 5x. So x plus h is an input. We're going to get 4 times that input, x plus h squared, plus 5 times that input. Then we're going to subtract this entire quantity. It'll go into its appropriate place here and here. So that will look like this. 4 times the input x plus h squared, plus 5 times that input x plus h. So this is f of x plus h applying the proper f of x minus this thing here. And we want to include brackets or parentheses or something because a very common mistake is to write minus and write both of these and not get the negative distributed to the 5x. So now we're going to remove the parentheses by some simplifications. So on the end side here, the easiest one is the negative distributes to both, negative 4x squared and negative 5x. 5x and 5h by distributing the 5 and multiply, multiplied here. And x plus h foils out. x plus h squared is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Multiplying the 4 through, we get 4x squared. The 2xh becomes 8xh and 4h squared. So we've got a lot of terms, but this is the end of the problem growing, and now things will simplify. We look through this line, and we can see many things that cancel. 4x squared cancels negative 4x squared. Positive 5x cancels negative 5x. So in the next step, simplifying, we are left with 8xh plus 4h squared plus 5h. And now we notice, and this will always check to make sure you haven't made any algebra mistakes, or some of the algebra mistakes you might, made, might have made, is that an h will factor out of the top. And when an h factors out, we're left with 8x plus 4h plus 5 over h. And then, of course, we can cancel those two h's. So now we have the limit as h goes to 0 of 8x plus 4h plus 5. Well, if h is going to 0, 4 times something that's going to 0 is also going to 0. So we're simply going to let that actually go to 0. And we're left with 8x plus 5 as our answer for the derivative for this problem. Thanks for paying attention to this problem.